Hey Scotch Watch, this is David Little, aka The Doolittle. I'm sorry I haven't been able to uh, send you an email or anything. It's been kind of crazy right here. Right after the convention, we actually had to move, so if you can take a look, we're still in the middle of the process of getting everything situated. So, I do have some stuff for you. I actually was able to get some, some things I thought was kind of neat for you. Uh, first and foremost, whenever we uh, have convention stuff, we always have these a whole bunch of bookmarks that we give out. And so I do, in fact, have a ton of bookmarks for you here. Uh, uh, some that are just now coming out. There's a couple of new ones on here for the new Munchkin Apocalypse, I believe, is in here. We also have this new one, the Zombie Munchkin Zombies bookmark of Shelter Skelter for the Munchkin Zombies game. Uh, we have this new um, official Munchkin Jumbo D6 bookmark of Hexadedral Retrieval. Each one of these have, of course, special powers. Uh, during the game, you can, of course, uh, choose to, some of them are required to be destroyed. You, of course, have that option. We, as a, as a friendly game, we generally don't. Um, we also have this new one of the bookmark of Hasp horsing around for the uh, Need for Steed sets. Uh, I don't know if you play Munchkin Quest or not, but here's the Munchkin Quest bookmark of Surprising Survival. It actually comes with a marker. This is actually a character that goes in the game uh, that you can play with. The uh, bookmark of what is that bi bimodal bifurcation I don't know exactly what it does I haven't played much of Quest in a while uh, I also apologize that I could not get more pictures of the game and stuff I was really really busy during the, the uh, uh, demos uh, we had the we had the new ogre set uh, out and a lot of people were dooming or demoing that uh, it's the new ogre uh, box set that's the great big one for a hundred dollars at the Kickstarter uh, well, kicked off, really. Um, and there were a lot of people doing the demos and stuff, and I was always going to get you some pictures of it and stuff getting played and pictures of Steve and video and stuff like that. This is one of the last ones, I, but I've got a bunch of others on here. The Axe Cop, official bookmark of chopping off heads. Of course, we also have this one. This is brand new. Not many people are getting this. There's a very, very limited run on these um, on this bookmark, but this is the bookmark. Watch Steve Jackson play Munchkin with Felicia Day, Sandy per Parikh, and Will Wheaton on tabletop, airing Fridays, YouTube, Geek Center, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this was not widely available. This is only a limited run. You are getting one of these. I only could get one, unfortunately. Uh, but this is a nice, neat one to have in your, your pack. Uh, some other neat ones I've got here. Uh, these were uh, postcards, actually. Munchkin, get more loot. These are actually postcards. You've got a couple of these going to you. And it on the back side, it's got some information about it, and of course, the Munchkin is as, as seen. Um, once, like again, I also don't know if you play Munchkin Quest. Uh, well, I actually got a pack of four of these coasters, and one side is one thing, and another side is the other thing. If I don't throw it on the ground, uh, there's two different things on each one. You flip them in the air and, and play with them, and I've got four of them here for you. So when you play with your friend. Uh, I also have, these are a couple of these are giveaways, and these are, once again, the uh, Munchkin Quest. Uh, this is an actual room that goes with Munchkin Quest, as well as a level 10 troll, because there, there's a troll booth right there. That's actually one of the games. When you play the game, you flip the card into the air, and whatever it lands, that's when you, what you uh, play. And it comes with a uh, troll card, as well as a base, and a little token, the little token that actually uses in the game right there. Uh, as for cards, I was able to get you, unless otherwise stated, this is all doubled. Um, so I was able to get you quite a few of the demo card stuff. Uh, one of this is, I don't know if you have this one or not, this is called The Last Laugh. Next to uh, Divine Intervention, this is the only card in the game that allows you to level up without actually fighting a monster. This is a, kind of a nice card. And I've got a couple of those in there for you. I got a, a couple of stacked decks and each one of these will allow you to do certain, of course, certain things. And the new, we just got these out this year, the new Twisp and Catsby. Uh, I don't know if you read that, read that web comment or not, but there's a card for them. Uh, the ever popular new Conan that's come out. We actually got a chance to play the new Conan box set that's not readily available. We actually uh, ran a Munchkin tournament, and the last uh, round of cards that we played was actually Conan. So here's Conan Helps Out, and you play during any combat. And the monster is discarded. The player goes up a level, but gets no treasure. Conan took it. Usable only once. Uh, Mug Shopkeeper. Mug the Shopkeeper, a very, very famous card. Very popular card, especially among the, the, the 
the uh, those greedy among us. Uh, I got a couple of um, cars for Munchkin Zombies. This is Axe Cop. This is the actual Axe Cop level 20, and you do uh, you know, do have to fight him if you draw him. Uh, this one here is our venison venison card. Uh, this works with uh, our trophy buck dice game. So if you have the trophy buck dice game, here you go. You can actually use this, draw a dice out, and depending on which dice you draw, depends on what uh, bonus you get. Uh, a new card, and this is going to be a limited run card. This is not many people are going to be getting these. This is called the luggage. Whenever you're in combat with two or more monsters, the luggage can eat one your choice. Uh, what's the rest would say? Uh, you don't get any levels or treasure. The time monster it is eight in quotations. Luggage may might, might wander away. Roll two dice and on an eight, give the luggage to the player on your right. It's kind of a neat little card. We've actually got a chance to play with that one. Um, uh, I noticed on one of your other ones that you've got fairy dust, so I actually was able to procure a couple of the demo fairy dust up cards the fairy dust up cards uh, that we give away and on top of that I don't know if I, you got a chance to see it here but I also got you the bunchkin bookmark uh, sparkly good plus ten to monster. You add that to a monster you can give it a plus ten and there's of course rules on the back tells you everything that you need to do so if anybody wants to argue it you can show them the rules. Uh, several munchkin Cthulhu uh, this is I believe regular munchkin yeah this is the Christmas one the Santa's Little Elvis Let's see if I get it in there it's a level 10 monster. Uh, roll a jolly jumbo d6 and add a res result to Elvis' combat strength. And there's a couple of neat little things that he does. Uh, you may or may not remember, I don't know if you're old enough to remember, I know I am, I've been doing this since the late 70s. Uh, one of the first games I got a chance to play was Awful Green Things. And here we have our promo card, our level 8 Awful Green Thing. And this was, uh, once again, this is going to be a limited run. Not many people are going to get this one. Uh, a ton a ton of Munchkin Cthulhu cards. Uh, most importantly in the deck here is uh, Evil Ted, who is pretty common, uh, the Evil uh, Igor Eker, the uh, What's Behind Door Number 3. This is actually a pretty fun card to play in the game. Um, Monstrous Heritage, which is kind of a weird card. It actually took me a couple tries before I finally figured out what the hell that card actually does. Uh, and then the ever-popular My Little Cthulhu. This is a plus one bonus, I believe, to a monster. Um, anytime, anytime anyone becomes a cultist, instruction comes up for you that there are no cultist cards available, you can go through the door deck and find one. You must play it, then reshuffle, and give My Little Cthulhu to the lowest level non-cultist. It's a cute little thing. It's just a plus one bonus to the player. I also... Now that I know, can't figure out what I did with it. Once again several cards somewhere over here that concern Munchkin Quest. Uh, a couple of bonus cards. There they are. There we go. Uh, I have 3D glasses. Um, this was will give you, I believe, a plus one bonus when moving through a por portal. 3D glasses may be worn without head other headgear, but the effects you lose your headgear, you lose it all. Uh, and a plus two revealing costume. And this is just, uh, once again, bonuses for, for the players. Uh, now, on to what I was able to get for you. These are only one of each. Uh, I don't know if you do have this one or not, but I know this one wasn't too common. This is the plus three bonus Pegasus Steed. This is, turns your steed into a Pegasus Steed and gets a plus one to run away. Uh, you cannot, you, I don't think you can, yeah. Cannot be in, you know, if you have, there's a press on wings card that uh, they have. Um... I have a couple of uh, special cards that are widely available. This is Mystic Correspondence. John Kavalik drew this in 2007. Uh, coincidentally, he actually drew it before 2007, but he drew it as this card. Uh, this card does. Play this card when you're in combat. Pick a player who has the same number of cards in his hands that have after that in his hand that you have after you play this card. You must help you in the combat without reward. Card may not be used to gain a winning level. So that's a, a plus. Uh, there was also this one, which just came out uh, last year. We actually uh, uh, didn't get a chance to get these printed until late. But this is for Munchkin Booty. And this is a special card. This is the Level 9 Short Beard. Arr, there be feared Canadians. A plus for Miss British and French. Get the whole Quebec thing sorted out. 
And this is Robert Mitchell for buying the uh, spot on here. And he actually, hit, this is actually him there uh, for the uh, Pure Speculation Festival 2010 charity auction. And we discovered by Genesis Magazine, so we put him on there. And that was, you know, part of the thing that he got. Uh, I was able to finally get one. I, while we were packing, I found this in the box. It was, it was really cool. Oh, he's looking for one of these. The John Kavalik draws a monster. Unfortunately, John hasn't drawn a monster on it yet. But I understand that if you do contact him, he will be happy to send you one. Especially if you send a self dress stamped on below. He'd be happy to send you one. Um, and also, I was able to get a signature for you. Uh, I don't know if you have this card. Evil Stevie changes the rules. If Steve Jackson writes a rule and signs it, it becomes official, and you'll notice that he does sign it. I won't tell you what the rule is, though. I'm going to be kind of evil and not tell you. When you do get this, you will uh, find out. And also something brand new. Uh, the, I don't think there's any bonuses for playing it yet. This is the Munchkin Slap Bracelet. Uh, yeah, we all had one of these back in the 80s. Um, but here's the, the new Munchkin one. It does, in fact, work. I wore one the entire weekend. Still in its original plastic covering. Uh, been worn once because you just saw me wear it. Uh, and this, no, like I said, I don't think anything's yet, but do keep an eye out. I'll, do, I'll make, make sure if anything comes out. So here's the stuff I'll probably be sending to you at the end of the month. Uh, as soon as I can get stuff packed away, I've got a box here that I'll be sending this stuff in for, for you. Um, if you have any other things, any questions, any concerns, if anybody, w and if you're ever in the Houston area, and this goes for anybody who watches this video, if you're in the Houston area and you want to get together for a game of Munchkin or a game of uh, uh, Ogre or a game of Car Wars, uh, I've got several of the other, and there's a new game called Nanook that just came out. I haven't really had a chance to play it, but once, uh, Revolution, which is I uh, played twice at the convention over the weekend, it was a fun game. Lots of uh, lots of great things that we had this weekend. Um, so if you do, if anybody's in the area, contact me. Be happy to sit down and play a game with you. I've got two new, uh, I got two game stores just within a few miles of me right now. Instead of living out in the boonies where I used to live, I'm living in Central Houston now. So I will see you guys soon. Contact me if you want anything. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy your stuff. Uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.